Trixie Goes Vegan Temporarily, Ranking Vegan Snacks from the Internet. A patron sent me this. I can't believe I missed it because I love Trixie Mattel. She is my favorite drag queen. Her and Bob, probably my favorite drag queens. Bob the Drag Queen and Katya, of course. But Trixie is just so incredibly funny to me. Are you atheist or agnostic? I'm just like hot. She was on Drag Race. I think I only watched the first couple seasons of Drag Race with my mom, actually. We loved that show when it first started. And then it just got more and more catty, we felt like. And they had a couple contestants, one in particular, either the second or third season, who was just not up to par in terms of their makeup abilities and like costumery, but they were very antagonistic. So we were like, okay, they have them on the show just to like be a bitch, right? And <laughs> just to start shit. Like, I don't know, I'm not really interested. So we stopped watching it. But anyway, Trixie was on one of the later seasons. I don't know if she won or not. I have no idea. I just know her from YouTube, really. And from her and Katya's show. And then also just from YouTube shorts. That's the kind of stuff I love YouTube shorts for. And I think Trixie's vegetarian. So I've already been vegetarian my whole life. And now I had to switch to no dairy, no gluten. So we're just doing dirt and seeds, chapstick dirt and seeds. Are you eating spinach? Hair, buttons, dirt seeds, stones, hair clips. There's just no food. And I just love her makeup. Like, it's so weird. I love the hair. That weird crease, that weird cut crease. What is that? It's great. Hi, do you believe in snacks? I was vegan for like eight months in college and did I feel great? Yes. Did I look great? Yes. But my eyes were white. My skin was clear. I had energy, but I really missed <laughs> food you guys what was i just talking about with the earthling ed video you know and he was talking about the issues for vegan socializing and stuff okay if you've been vegan for a while sure but for a lot of vegans who don't stay vegan it's just the food man they just want to eat the cheese no dairy no gluten so if you're following along at home trixie mattel no alcohol no drugs no meat no dairy and no gluten so i guess we're just having seeds and rubber bitch seeds and latex that's the vegan diet she's not gonna eat with the gloves on is she, oh that's gonna gross me out i'm a picky person you know when kimchi was on the channel and we were doing a mukbang i'm still traumatized by some of the food we ate during that okay i saw a beautiful video from kimchi which is a fantastic name obviously uh where she was talking about how her mom discovered that she is a drag queen. I guess she had no idea. And Kimchi sent her some money or something. And then the mom looked up the, the email address name. I guess it was Kimchi and found all these photos of her son in drag. And her response was just, are you making money from this? Yeah, I'm making money. Okay, then keep doing it. Because for Asian parents, you know, like financial success equates to success. And I think at the end of the day, they just want to see us like live comfortably and not struggle like the way they did. The first thing I missed when I had to cut out real like milk items was milk chocolate. I love Reese's and on the internet I found out that Reese's I believe last year started these plant-based Reese's. They're good. They're insanely expensive. Two dollars and I want to say 279 for two, for a pack of just two cups. Although, you know, maybe junk food should be that expensive, right? Maybe we'd all be healthier if junk food were super expensive. I've been seeing a rheumatologist because you guys know I've been sick and I'm, I'm trying to be obedient. And she was like, can you do me a favor? In the next two weeks, can you cut out dairy and gluten? And I looked at her like, like she just asked me to go eat for two weeks. I was like, I was like, that's so against my nature. Oh no. You remember in Coraline, the other mother? No. <laughs> this is like the other mother of Reese's. It is Reese's. It's just, it's it's about 50% of Reese's. It lacks that saltiness of peanut butter to me. It tastes like Reese's for about the first second. Yeah, it's-, it's Like a, CBD to marijuana. Yeah, that's totally what it is. <laughs> this is methadone. This is getting you off the drug. Listen, a toothy blowjob is still a blowjob. Okay, out of five leaves, this is a four. I, I mean, it's still the Reese's. It's still good. It's okay. still good. Not to give myself away for a little extra volume in these in these single wigs. I just get these like little clip-in things on, on Amazon. You just lift up a layer and like stick oh, this in here. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Do y'all remember Bump It's? Did anyone have one? I never knew any, well, maybe they did and I just didn't know, but I don't think I ever knew anyone who actually had a Bump It, but man, like we made fun of those. I, I guess people bought them. <laughs> Why would you want to bump it? Don't bump it. But I do know that the back combing or back teasing, right? Where you like, 
You like fuck up the hair underneath so that it raises up the hair on top. Is that bad for your hair? It seems like you're intentionally tangling your hair. Like, is that bad for it? Fantastic, functional, low-carb gourmet treats. Low-carb, keto-friendly, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. Made with green bananas. Yeah, I have not tried these. Not to be that vegan, but uh, these aren't actually vegan. They have egg white in them. Now, I was thinking, okay, maybe she got these from Amazon and it said vegan because I've had that happen in the past. Just recently, my sis sister sent us some nuts or something for the holidays. When you go to the listing, the title's vegan, the description's vegan, 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 vegan everywhere. And then when you actually get the product, Product from one of the nuts has like honey. They're even called like honey almonds or honey peanuts. Definitely some unscrupulous uh, sellers on Amazon, but I checked these and they don't list vegan anywhere. So yeah, it's just one of those things that's very, very common for new vegans and even uh, age aged <laughs> vegans like myself. I still once or twice a year buy shit with, you know, lactose or something in it. I don't want to be judgmental, but like on the packaging, you write all this shit. Like, you might as well just tell people they're about to eat dirt. It's just, it's, it's actually good. It tastes burned, but I like that. You know how like sometimes when cookies are a little burned, they're like weirdly good? Speaking of burned cookies, we just went to Veggie Grill and they were severely understaffed. It was lunchtime. It didn't actually take that long for us to get our food, but it is like fast casual, right? You're supposed to get it pretty quick. So the chick came out and brought us like four cookies as like a thank you for waiting. It was really sweet but the cookies were so overdone. They were so crunchy. Now I like crunchy cookies, which means that I pretty much ended up eating. I didn't eat all of them. I think I ate three out of, actually we had five because <laughs> we got a kid's meal. So we already had a cookie. So we had five. They're good. I actually think they're good. They kind of taste like burnt bananas. I made a face, Ooh. but I have eaten three of them. I'm going to say this is a three. Okay. I don't think I can trust her ranking. First, she was describing the plant-based cups as like 50% Reese's, but then gave it four out of five. And then this one, she's like, these are good. And then gives it three out of five. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think the ranking means anything. Okay, these actually, I'm gonna be honest, I cheated. These came yesterday and I was here working in the studio by myself and I wanted a snack. One milligram of sugar per bag. The Ooh. entire bag of these is 90 calories. I oh, this like, is, no. Although, you know, I did like, what's the one with the panda? There's like a panda on it. They sent a, a bunch of stickers came with this. <laughs> This is stuff we got from Amazon too. We've got them all over our cabinets. The kids stuck them all over the cabinets, but it's got like a panda on it. They had some uh, like less sugar, you know, sour kind of things. Those were pretty good. I think it was allulose mostly. You guys, these are fucking fierce. This is, these are a five. These are amazing. That's oomph, candy with a new direction. Literally work me out. This is really good. They're what? really chewy, aren't they? Really good, really chewy, but not pull out your fillings chewy. We had some, some sort of little teddy bear. I think it was that grocery outlet, another like less sugar product, vegan product. And it it did feel like it was going to rip my teeth out. It was awful. We use this little grabber to grab wigs off a shelf, but in videos that ends up being Brandon's hand. She was gone for a while, she back. Cause Brandon's a hand model. He's not gonna give it to you for free. Do you guys know about celebrityfeet.com? They have pictures of me and Katya on Celebrity Feet, which I was just happy to be called a celebrity. <laughs> it's chewy, you guys. These are so good. These are a five. Okay, I have I have to order these. I mean, you know how I am about the fruity, chewy stuff. You are chewing forever, though. <laughs> it's, it's a it's lot crazy. of chewing. It's a lot of chewing. You also burn calories. It kind of gives candy like your grandparent would give you. Okay, I'm more skeptical now. <laughs> They're like, you're chewing for a long time. <laughs> Number one, the lemon flavor. It's like essential oil. Number two, not near sweet enough. Number three, the sweetness it does have is re really fakey. No, oh, it's not good. Bad aftertaste. But yeah, it's not too sticky. I mean, it does take a while to chew, but it's not the super hard, like, pull your teeth out type of chew. Nothing like that. A little thing, but that's the inside of the wrapper. When you unwrap it, it's like all the coloring is, like, off and in the... I don't know. It's gross. Kapow! Super grains. Free from gluten, corn, rice, and wheat, and it's vegan. It says kapow. Kapop, as in, I'm gonna kapop you in the mouth for correcting me. <laughs> kapop my chair, it's vegan. I think we tried those before. I don't know, actually. Everything runs together. As a person from Wisconsin, you know how the turfs are like, that's not a real woman. The Wisconsin to me is like, that's not real cheese. This accent is traffic. It tastes very diet. 
very dire. Dolly Parton said once, I can eat anything I want, I just can only have one. Who the f is sitting down and eating one cheese Pringle? I'd rather eat 30 puffs of something that's half good than like five really good cheese puffs, personally. I'm not a huge like cheese snack person. This is like the exact level of cheese I want in a snack. 100%, I don't. I don't miss cheese. I like the fake cheese stuff. And even the fake cheese stuff sometimes is too cheesy for me. <laughs> we buy a lot of dried mango at my house. So yeah, incredible. It tastes like throw up half the time. It's so gross. This is the color and texture of my skin. So this like, look at, tell me that's not my exact skin. Does it look like my ear? What if I was just like, you guys, you guys like my earring? Freely? Is that you? When I used to smoke weed, whole pack of these, whole pack of dried mango. What a weird fucking thing to eat high. Original Mama Chia feed yourself a chia mm -mm. squeeze blackberry bliss. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ew. You guys, I don't really get into like baby food behaviors. Yeah. Chia seeds, chia gun. Like Mother Nature just squirted in my mouth. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. I don't like it. I bet you this is honestly a lot better chilled. Oh, it's not even cold. I just assumed it was cold. Oh no, that's worse. Room temperature, gelatinous. Hmm. I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a two though. Honestly, it's a little weird. <laughs> Premium Virginia Addison peanuts. I'm not gonna like this. Is that excellent? What? They say dill pickle, I taste chlorine. No. I don't like it, but I don't like like dill pickle chips. God, I used to. I used to love dill pickle and the salt and vinegar. Oh, now the thought, oh. Hazelnut coffee, oh, I hate coffee. Hazelnut coffee maca. You guys, I don't even like coffee, so I'm not gonna live for her. Thunderbird. No, I haven't tried this one either. <laughs> the frown with those lips is so good. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Doesn't this like coffee, it's like coffee grounds. Yeah, it's Ew. coffee grounds. It's coffee grounds in an RX bar. It's Ew. a no for me. I'm key, sesame thins. This is gonna suck. I'd rather have nothing. I'd rather have nothing. <laughs> burnt popcorn? Sesame definitely has that bitter burnt kind of thing. I like sesame seeds in like Asian food, like savory. I don't like it as like a sweet thing. Oh, it's sweet? Oh. Although I did make those like chocolate chip cookies with tahini. And I really liked them. And I was like, this is so weird. It's good. And then I made them again. And I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Who, what? Was I stoned? Like, what the hell? These are disgusting. Sunflower butter and strawberry jam. I'm gonna love this. The other thing is a lot of these vegan foods, I noticed the expiration dates are, they're coming. So like yeah. a lot of these snacks are made to not be packed with preservatives. Yeah. Hell yeah. Eight down, bitch. These are like peanut butter and jelly balls. These are delicious. But it's sunflower butter, which again, some, oh, I hate, I love sunflower seeds. I hate sunflower butter. It's so bitter. It tastes like an Uncrustable meets cookie dough. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had an Uncrustable. I think that was after I even went vegan, I think. Pure organic layered fruit bar. Man, she's getting lots of lame fruit snacks. <laughs> again, I love fruit snacks, but these are like lame dried fruit. Lesser evil uh, popcorn, Himalayan gold. It sounds like pee. This is delicious. <laughs> this is honestly better than Smart Pop. This is good. Wow. It really tastes like butter. This is good as f You guys, this tastes like almost like movie theater butter. Ooh, this like I want to try butter? it. Yeah. Yes, it tastes real. That's really good. That's a five. Isn't movie theater butter popcorn like not real butter though? Was, wasn't that a whole thing, right? Um, it's... <laughs> No, it's good. I just had several handfuls, so it's definitely good. It does not taste like movie theater. It's too coconutty, number one. It definitely has a coconut thing, which makes sense. It's coconut oil. And there's not enough, like, movie theater, from what I remember, it's covered, right? And it's very salty. This is much less salty. But, uh, yeah, is that, like, healthier movie theater popcorn vegan thing? pretty good unrefined no seed oils oh my lord we're actually seeing this on packaging now no seed oils as a marketing claim oh no it's the end times i saw this on amazon and i had to grab it because i thought the Never packaging seen was this cool. brand oat milk salted caramel crunch chocolate super major oh speaking of oat milk chocolate simple truth the kroger brand now has oat milk chocolate they have a hazelnut and they have a caramel crunchy salted caramel i think exactly what she just said they are both very very good it looks like rush poppers it i was gonna say like wonka it looks like wonka something <laughs> we're very different people apparently if you need poppers to loosen up your asshole, maybe you're not a bottom i'm just too wholesome to know what they're talking about and also not a gay man what is that color though i don't know you guys do you guys this... see the color it's a little suspicious what the, the gray. fuck it is how it looks i have to give credit here plastic free made from sustainable harvested wood compostable plastic impressive it That's tastes cool. like advent calendar chocolate 
Mm. Dairy free and no sugar added. Oh, okay. You know, it's stupid. I also bought the simple truth. No sugar added dark chocolate, 70% chocolate. It has the same number of calories as the oat milk chocolate. I think it's like five calories less or something per serving <laughs> because dark chocolate, 70% dark chocolate already has so little sugar in it anyway, right? Like most of the calories are just coming from the fat. So you get the same calories, but worse taste, right? It's like monk fruit and erythritol and it's really bitter. It's just gross. It's a great way to diet. These are peanut butter <laughs> bites. High quality peanuts, kid friendly, quick oh. energy bite. Plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO. What is GMO? Genetically modified. Um... Oh. See, I appreciate when people admit they don't know things. That's great. What was that whole thing years ago? Was it Jimmy Kimmel where he interviewed people or was asking them if they eat GMOs? And they were like, no, of course not. Do you know what it means? Genetically manufactured. Oh. <laughs> this isn't good. It, it looks like it came out of a guinea pig. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> it's so good. It's <laughs> gonna say if it's just peanut butter balled up, like that's gonna be yummy. Paleo puffs, lesser evil. Oh, these are the people that oh, made this brand fierce again. ass popcorn. So I do have trust here. No cheese cheesiness, grain free. This is where I think vegan food is where the test is. Like making a fruit thing that's already gonna be vegan, making something that tastes not vegan, things can go awry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's not gagging my pussy. It's not gagging me at all. The shape is weird. It looks like a little mealworm. I don't like how it looks, you guys. I don't like how it looks at all. Especially on the black gloves. That doesn't help. If somebody had been vegan a long time and hasn't had a real Cheeto in a long time, you could maybe trick them into this. Blake's seed-based chewy granola bars. This is birthday oh. cake flavor. Kroger keeps having these like coupons on the Blake's chewy bars or whatever, but then they don't actually carry them. <laughs> it's really annoying. So I still haven't gotten to try them. If I was in prison, and this was presented to me on my birthday. I would be into it, but I'm not in prison yet. It's fine. It's a granola bar that has like low-cal birthday cake frosting on it. It must have, I think it has maple syrup in it. It tastes kind of syrupy. It's a little mm. sugary for me. It's a little bit wet. Yeah, it's a little oh, wet. No. The colors are nice. The sprinkle colors are nice. I thought this was going to be like a comedic video of us like puking. This was all really good. The superstar legends are these kapow. I mean, I could eat these. I could eat the whole bag. Still says kapow. <laughs> this popcorn ate down. This popcorn actually, like I wish this was at AMC. And then I would actually say the other star. I think we were too critical too soon because that Reese's is good. That plant-based okay. Reese's is good. Is it as amazing as a normal Reese's? No, but it's very, very good. That's so funny to me because a regular Reese's is not a mate. Like it's cheap as shit chocolate, right? Look, I eat cheap like junk snacks all the time. I love those freaking Haribo sour streamer things. I can eat a whole package of those. So I'm not being like elitist or anything, but once you've had like decent chocolate, it's like, oh, oh. Right? Being able to see Trixie's eyeballs and drag is actually so unsettling. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like I'm seeing her eyes more. Normally you can't really see them as well. Yeah, that's true. I wonder why that is. Fun fact from a four year vegan who also loves popcorn, most movie theater butter is vegan. It's soybean oil, not actual butter. That's what I thought. I'm glad I watched that. That was fun. I wanna try the Kapop. I think, oh man, the packaging looks so familiar. I think maybe we tried that. We got a, like a box of Ian snacks and they were in there. Not sure though. And I want to try the oomph, although I don't know. You notice she didn't even put it on the list of all stars at the end. <laughs> maybe after she realized, oh, may yeah, m maybe these aren't that good. I agree with her sometimes. Sometimes I would rather have lots of a mediocre thing than a tiny bit of a super delicious thing. But it depends. It has to be more than mediocre for me. Like I used to really like, I don't sell anymore, but they used to sell the so delicious mousse, the lower calorie mousse. And I loved that stuff. That was kind of like cocoa whip, which I also love. And so I could have a serving of that, which is significantly fewer calories. I mean, so airy, mostly eaten air, significantly fewer calories than the regular, you know, vegan ice creams. But that satisfied that need for something sweet and ice cream -y to me, right? Because it was still like really delicious. But there are other things like if I really want Lay's, eating some fucking hippies or something. No, 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 no. This is not going to cut it. At that point, I'd rather just eat 
a shit ton of fruit, right? I'd rather just eat like all the fruit I want to eat than having just some mediocre grain-free, sugar-free cookies. And plus, if they're actually good, then they're going to have calories and I'm going to eat a bunch anyway. And it's it's like, what's the point? I might as I might as well have just eaten the Oreos. I saw something like that on Shark Tank. It was supposed to be this healthier, like vegan cookie. And then the calories were absolutely ridiculous. It was like 300 calories per cookie. <laughs> you could have two Oreos for like, half that maybe? And I appreciate her talking about the calories and everything. I know like we're not supposed to do that anymore. So yeah, I appreciate uh, not everyone is giving into the, you know, intuitive eating bullshit. Not that you have to count calories or anything, but um, for many of us, it works. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe and you can support the channel at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. Thank you so much to my patrons and my members here on YouTube who do support the channel. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog and then I also do a controversial video and that's it for me. Thanks again, guys. New video soon.